Oregon, and Southern Washington. Hello again, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, along with the coach, and welcome to the show this week. We'll take a look at the highlights from Oregon's exciting 7-3 victory over Stanford. We'll have a special halftime feature here from the players and preview next week's game against San Diego State. Uh, congratulations, coach. It was uh, one of those games you call smash mouth football uh, type of contest. Uh, your team uh, struggled a bit offensively, but the defense was outstanding. You come away with a nice four-point win. Well, I thought both defenses played very well, and uh, our defense, particularly in the second half, made the key plays, the big turnovers, uh, gave the offense uh, several opportunities to get the job done, and then uh, Musgrave uh, finally executed a real fine third down pass to Joe Merton to set us up at uh, first and goal on the four, and two Lattenberry carries later. We had the lead, and uh, we, ha we did a good job hanging on to it. Last couple of years, Stanford has played you extremely tough. They're a good football team with uh, many talented players. Did you sense any frustration during the course of the game? Like, oh, goodness, here we go again, kind of like what happened last year down on the farm? Well, I was frustrated. I don't know if anybody else was. Uh, certainly, uh, with our inability to, to move the ball consistently, uh, uh, the only thing that kept us in the game was a uh, real good uh, performance by our kicking teams and also a, a tremendous performance by our defensive unit. But the key thing, uh, I think, Todd, is that we, uh, we found a way to win this game in, in a situation that uh, was totally different than a week ago against Washington State when we ended up scoring 43 points and 49 in our first two games. Uh, we had to get inventive and, and uh, find a way to win the game with seven points, and we did that. Uh, I feel very good about this football team. Defensively, I know one of the things that you had wanted to do, one of the goals was to stop John Volpe, who has uh, had an outstanding uh, season so far. And you did that, and I think that really helped your pass defense and that uh, maybe you could set some things up and force them to pass when you wanted them to pass. Well, there's no question that our uh, controlling of the running game with Volpe was the key to our defensive performance. Uh, he had rushed for about 165 yards a week before against San Diego State. He ended up getting 62 yards, but Stanford only netted 33 yards, I think, rushing. And that allowed us to uh, play our nickel package a little bit. Uh, we put a little pressure on him with some blitz, got pretty good pressure on the quarterback most of the time, and came up with some, uh, some big interceptions and turnovers that turned the game around for us in the second half. You're now 3-0 and overall. You're 2-0 and in the conference, the first team in the conference to pick up two victories. So, you know, I know it's not the end of the season by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly you're off to the kind of start I think you thought was necessary to accomplish some of those uh, goals you have. Well, this team has a lot of high aspirations, and uh, we're 3-0 and and 2-0, and like you said, and that's a key thing for us to be at this point in the season. And I think no matter how you cut it, uh, you look at our victory over uh, Stanford and it's the same margin of victory that USC defeated them by four points. A different game, SC came from behind, we came from behind, uh, but uh, it's a seven to three game versus a 24-20 game. But I, I really believe this football team is starting to put things together and if we can avoid the injury situation, uh, Musgrave being hurt, uh, hopefully it won't be uh, a long uh, standing injury, but certainly it looks like he's very doubtful for the San Diego State game. Stanford won the toss of the coin, elected to receive, so the Ducks will kick off and defend the West goal. Not much of a breeze in this ball game, so not nearly as much of a factor as the breeze had been against both Long Beach State and also Washington State. So Kirk Dennis kicks off for the Ducks. And receiving it is Grant, the speedster, who's also tough on punt returns. He breaks the tackle and gives Stanford a pretty good field position out at the 35-yard line. They found a crease in our kickoff coverage there, and uh, Brett Young made the saving tackle. Now they give the ball right away to Volpe, and you can see he's tough to tackle with that low center of gravity. Stanford came out with very large line spritz, splits early in the game and tried to uh, hit, hit us straight ahead. You can see it again here, but this time Cassano comes off the center. Sinclair and makes a very nice play and gets help from Mark Kearns. So this is a third down and eight. They send the house, or at least close to it, Scott Kozak with the sack. We brought him out of the new Sky Suites up there, Todd. I, this is a, a blitz. Uh, we played mostly zone. You can see we're bringing the safety in our nickel defense here. We're bringing both safeties and uh, Kozak, and we're playing man-to-man -man pass defense, and Kozak breaks through for the sack. So the Ducks get the football back at their own 30-yard line. First down, Derek Lavelle tries to smash in there and gets about five on first down, second and five at the 35. Made most of it on his own. Uh, made about three yards after he was hit. Dump a little pass out here to Lattenberry. He breaks a, a couple tackles and then gets smothered under. Third down and one. Sweep into the boundary. A real good block there by Brandon Jumper, a fullback, freshman fullback out of Eatonville, Washington. Um, 
get the corner turn and first down, and we come right back on first down with a pass. Pressured here, Musgrave hits Lavelle coming out of the backfield, and he gets pulled down by one arm. So it's second and five, the ball now just in Stanford territory. Almost pop a pretty good run there. Uh, Derek couldn't quite pick up his speed. He's just a four yards short of another 100-yard game. Here comes Latin, very, very strong run, picks up five hard-earned yards. So the uh, ball is now at the Stanford 30 two-yard line. Play we ran successfully last week against Washington State. Uh, Stanford safety blitzed through and uh, we missed the block and he threw us for a loss here. Musgrave under pressure, man-to-man. -man. They ran a little man-to-man uh, -man and blitzed on us and we're sacked. So it's too long to attempt a field goal and Stanford will take over. Next play we see a second and four from the 18. Try the option behind Volpe and almost recovered. Big play missed there, a great opportunity uh, on the bad pitch. It's pitched uh, behind Volpe here. You can see he can't handle the ball, and Blakey comes over the top here trying to recover it and just hits it out of bounds, and uh, that's a missed opportunity that really would have given us great field position early. Now, Johnson, you can see his ability to scramble and move around in the pocket. His guys are diving after him, and he completes the pass for about 15 yards. Picks up a first down and more importantly gets him out of the short end of the field. Uh, Stanford did a good job there. Pete Brantley coming in in our nickel package, number 85 out of San Diego, does a real good job out of Irvine. I'm sorry. He's uh, made a real nice play in our nickel pass rush. You get the ball back but unable to move it, so the defense comes back onto the field. Here comes Stanford. We're late in the first period. They try to go down the sideline. The completion to Green is good for 21. Hit us on the corner roll there and they got it right in between and made a nice catch on the sideline. Found us in a soft spot in the zone here. Mike Blakey comes up and forces him out of bounds. This is a second and eight play. Stanford now uh, trying to mount a drive. Tackle there by Mark Wynn and Derek Horton. They caught us in man-to-man, -man, beat us on the inside seam. And now Stanford's mounting a real good drive, but our defense makes a real nice play here with Chris Oldham coming up to break out the out, up, uh, to break up the out pattern. This is a third down and 10 from the Oregon 34. And this ball was, was deflected uh, just barely, but almost a touchdown for Stanford. You'll see the rotation on the ball will change. Uh, Brett Young comes underneath. Uh, Mark Wynn, our safety, bites a little too short. And you can see Mark Wynn does get a hand on the ball, but uh, that's a little too close for comfort, Todd. So the defense holds, the punt is down to the Oregon one yard line, so you gotta kinda squeeze things out from the shadow of your own goal post. Not a lot of running room there. Nice play by Derek Lavelle on first down, come back on second down uh, on the off tackle play, and we get good line movement to get us out of the shadow of our own end zone. Excellent run again by Derek Lavelle. And up for the first down, and then on first down from the 13, almost a disaster. Musgrave is sacked, ball comes loose, but recovered by the Ducks. That was the final play of the first quarter. Defense has dominated the first quarter. No score as we move into the second quarter highlights. Stanford's defense comes up with a big play. As Musgrave rolls out and his pass is intercepted by Kevin Scott. And uh, Stanford has good field position. But this is that sudden change you talk about so often, Coach. And your defense came in and did the job. A really uh, important series by the defense here. Little screen pass out here. They make a, a good play and pick up... Uh, about eight yards on the screen pass before being tackled. There's Johnson trying to find a receiver. Can't Matt Brock, the defensive left end, in on the sack. Matt played by far his best game of the year. Does a good job on the pass rush here. Half roll, beats the tackle cleanly, leaps in and makes a shoestring tackle on Johnson for the sack. So it's now third and 19. A long way to go for the Cardinal. And Johnson again will try to pass, and again, it's number 92 on the sack. I'm sure that wasn't a replay, Todd. Yeah, it was a little different play, <laughs> wasn't it? A little different look. A little different look. Uh, excellent pass rush again by Brock. Just beats the tackle upfield hard. Johnson has nowhere to go. He tries to escape Brock up the middle, but Brock is there for the second sack in a row. So it puts the Cardinal out of field goal range. And a big hit uh, on the next series by Tom Kamai. We were unable to move the ball again, and that's a, a real big uh, third down play. They're trying to throw the screen pass here. 
good pressure by Brock again, and Kalmeyer reads the screen beautifully and just unloads on Volpe, and the ball goes one way, and Volpe goes the other, and Tom's standing there cheering. <laughs> did he did a big hit for Tom Kalmeyer. So that uh, stalls another Stanford drive, and the Ducks get it back. Randy Wilhite into the ball game at the fullback position here. Picks up about six. On the draw play, uh, pick up a good gain. Now we come on the rollout. Musgrave throws out. Real nice catch there by Terry Obey. So that picks up nine, and because of a blocking below the waist penalty, this forces a third and seven. Musgrave hit as he throws. Uh, fortunate that that wasn't intercepted. Our pass protection was not nearly as good as it's been in the first two games, and we've got a lot of work to do on that. Here comes Volpe on the draw play. David Cassana, who played a, a, his best game, I think, ever at Oregon, and that comes off the center's block to make the tackle. Here they hit us on a quick slant pass. Brett Young hangs, almost undresses the Stanford receiver. So the next play we see is third down and six. Johnson scrambling and just flips the ball upfield. It falls to the carpet incomplete. We'll take another look at it. Peter Brantley and Joe Taylor on the rush. In the nickel package again, uh, good job with Joe Taylor and Brantley coming on the rush. Uh, you can see he's just unloading the ball to avoid the sack here, but it is number 80 uh, is right there, uh, an eligible receiver in the vicinity, as the officials would say. In the area code, I guess. And so now a 51-and-a-half-yard field goal, and Hopkins hits it with room to spare. And Stanford leads it 3 to nothing. So there's about, well, not about, there's exactly 6.35 left to go in the second quarter. And the Ducks now trying to mount a drive before the end of the half and get some points. Play action fake, hit Kolya Teft over the middle, behind the middle linebackers and in front of the safety for a big gain. You can see the play action fake sucks the linebacker up real tight. Musgrave flips it right over the other linebacker in front of the safety, and Kolya Teft makes a tackle to get us out of the hole. So the Ducks now have the football out at their own 42-yard line. Uh, Kolya Teft, a little tough to take to the turf. Give it to Randy Wilhite. Counter play here, uh, back to the tight end side, and Randy picks up about five yards. This is a third and four. We've seen this one before from Joe Reitzig. has the ability to catch onto the ball and get a foot inbounds. What a great catch. Uh, I was standing right next to this, and I, didn't, I thought the ball was thrown too high. I didn't think there was any way he could catch it, let alone get his feet down. And he got both feet down. Uh, Tremendous job by Joe Reitzig. So that keeps the drive alive. Third down conversions, not something uh, easy to come by yesterday for either team. It, re it really wasn't. And a uh, good ground level shot there at Derek Lavelle, picking up about eight yards right through the middle and breaking some tackles and falling forward. Little quick pass out to Joe Reitzig again, picks up another first down. So the offense is moving the football. It's first and 10 at the Stanford 26 with 3.22 to play first half. Up the middle again, uh, pick up about three and a half yards. A little mix up in the backfield there. Uh, we hit audibled and uh, Derek didn't pick up the audible. And <laughs> That's a nice looking play though. I kind of yeah, like that. We're going to put that in. We're going <laughs> to put that in. That's one of the key breakers. Third and short, uh, nice play here by Hinckley, the outside linebacker from Stanford, holds us short of the first down. Uh, big key play in this drive. We've been moving the ball well and now Kirk, after making five in a row last week at Washington State for a school record, uh, really smothers that and hooks it left uh, for a, a real bad attempt at it. This was an interesting series here. It looked like Stanford was just trying to run out the uh, first half. You were calling timeouts to try to prevent them from doing that. They come up short of the first down in this sequence of plays. Well, we wanted to try to either block the punt or at least get the ball back with a shot to score. Nice play there by Scott Kozak on Volpe. Now we call another timeout, uh, use our third one, and there's about 55 seconds left. A replay here, you can see Kozak coming off the block uh, and making the tackle for no gain. Our defense played well on this series. We utilized the clock, and now we go in with a punt block, and Stanford uh, fools us here and runs the option play, and Brantley makes the tackle not before they pick up the first down. So now Stanford, the uh, shoe is on the other foot, so to speak. They want to now use some timeouts. Uh, they're up near midfield. And they try a little pump and go here and they find an open seam down the middle uh, before Kalmeyer gets there to make the tackle. But again, the defense uh, came to the party, so to speak, and uh, stopped the Cardinal from scoring in this situation. They get the ball down to about the 33 after this reception. Well, they're in, they're in field goal range again now and uh, the defense makes the play that we have to make here. David Cassano, good pass rush here, sacks the quarterback, forces him back for a longer field goal now, 
Uh, you can see Cassano on the pass, rushing the middle in our, in our Hawk group. Does a good job defeating the guard in this case and sacking Johnson for about a seven yard loss. So the field goal attempt now will be from 53 yards. Was this one tipped, Coach, or just uh, not a good kick? Uh, I don't think it was a good kick, but Cassano broke up the middle real well. He could have gotten a hand on it. We're ready for the third quarter. The Ducks trailing Stanford 3 to nothing. The Ducks will get the football to start the third 15 minutes of play. The kickoff is not a good one. A low line driver that is fielded on one hop by Chris Oldham. And he almost breaks this one for a touchdown. He's a real dangerous return man, and I think uh, before the year's over, you're going to see some great things from him. This is only our third kickoff that we've returned in three games. Uh, a couple of them were kicked out of the end zone, but we just haven't had many chances. You can see on the replay here, uh, Chris handles it on one hop. We get a good soft cushion uh, up in front of the wedge, and the wedge takes it up front. Chris uh, spins out of a, a tackle right there, and then makes a good change of direction deal. He thinks he's a ball carrier. Look at him waving that thing, changing the ball, doing a complete 360 degree spin. <laughs> and then gets kneed in the face by one of his own players. So, so much for the uh, French pastry run back, I guess. So you come with a counter play to Lattenberry on the second and seventh play, get about six. So it's third down and one. It's a short one, Todd. One link on the chain. Quarterback sneak, Musgrave uh, obviously picks up enough for the first down. This is a second and ten play here. Come out on the uh, little bootleg action, hit Lattenberry out in the flat. And this is something that we should have done a little more often, but uh, we weren't patient enough. We tried to force the ball downfield a little too much against Stanford's zone. Come back out on a rollout here. Musgrave throws it a little too high for Lavelle, and it's incomplete. So you try what is... A little over a 50-yard field goal. Into a fairly stiff wind right now, and you can see it's uh, pretty short. So uh, that uh, leaves it 3 to nothing and gives Stanford the ball in relatively good field position. Volpe comes off tackle. little cross buck there almost uh, pops into the clear before he fell down. It's about 9. The Cardinal didn't pick up the first down. This is a second down and 9 play here. Volpe gets about 5. So it's third and 4. Good job of disciplined defense here, I think, by Derek Horton. Stayed at home and got Johnson as he tried the uh, naked bootleg. We come with the blitz again. Uh, you can see we're bringing people inside. Derek Horton comes, contains, forces Johnson back inside, gets help from Brock, and uh, Horton uh, makes a nice play in that situation. So the Ducks get the football back at their own 21-yard line with nine and a half minutes to play in the third period, trailing by three. Good run there by Lattenberry. I thought that was a little late out of bounds, but uh, officials didn't call it, so I guess it wasn't. But uh, good job here. Good block by Lavelle. Breaks Berry through the side. We get a block by Sam Archer. Breaks one tackle, and you can see Latin steps out of bounds right there, and then bang, two steps later, gets drilled uh, out into the Stanford sideline. It's a gain of 14 and a first down. The 35, play action pass. Back to the tight end, Joel Merton gets 19. Same play we hit Kolya Teft with in the first half. Uh, play action fake got the linebacker to come up on the run fake. And Musgrave finds Merton behind the linebacker in front of the safety. And we complete it for a nice game, which puts us into Stanford territory. And this is an area we seem to stall all day long. We'd move the ball out from our side down to about the 40, 45, and then make some kind of mistake. So first and 10 at the Stanford 46-yard line. Back uh, on the draw play to Lattenberry. He gets about four, and that'll set up after uh, a gain of only two by uh, Derek Lavelle. Third and four. And here we go again. Uh, run an audible, run the streak here, and it's intercepted. Yeah, it looked like Stanford was ready to blitz man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, and Cook came up with the interception. Good play there by uh, Chris Oldham breaking up that pass on the slant. Stanford uh, does, however, move the ball downfield a little bit here, and they could come on the rollout on a key third down play there. It was a real nice play by Brett Young off the play action fake. Actually had been fooled, and the man was behind him, but he jumped up and knocked the pass down. You got the ball back on able to move it. Stanford gets the ball back, and on a first down play, Volpe carries, and the ball just comes out of the pile, and Scott Kozak there picks it up. He can't return it, you have to uh, get the ball in the air to return it like you did against San Diego State a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is uh, a real good play by our defensive unit. The first man 
tackles Volpe, and then we try to strip the ball out always is something we work on. You can see the ball is clearly out on the ground bouncing, and then Kozak says, oh my goodness, here it is. But uh, Real big opportunity for our offense now. We get a great turnover, the crowd's with us, the momentum's going our way. Now we come right back after a penalty, hit Sam Archer over the middle for a big first down, down deep in Stanford territory. Can't see the, the, uh, the defense in this shot, but you can see a nice catch. That's a safety coming back off of the, the person that had run the corner over there, and Sam makes a nice catch before falling to the ground. You talk about good field position and opportunity to score. You're down by three. Very late stages of the third period. I, I guess, again, this is that frustration part that we talked about at the top of the show. It really is. Now we run uh, two plays. Here's Randy Wilhite takes it up, and now we're in a situation where we're only about a yard short of a first down. We run the sweep over here. We get tackled for no gain. And now we're just a little bit less than a yard, and we decide to go for it on fourth down. And we call the option. If Musgrave takes it inside, he's got the first down. But he makes an ill-advised pitch, and the pitch actually goes backwards out of bounds, and we lose about a yard on the play. So kind of the wind out of the sail, so to speak. Uh, so it's up to the defense to get the football back. Stanford still leads it 3 to nothing. Now we're in the fourth quarter, Coach. Things are getting a little hairy, and it's up to defense again to get the football back. And hopefully the offense will get some points on the board. Stanford on a second and six gets about nine and good enough for the first down out to the 19-yard line. This is a second and eight play completion for 15 yards. It's one of the uh, areas of defense I wasn't pleased with. We let Stanford out of a uh, bad field position here, but now we come up with the big play. Scott Kozak uh, on the tip pass, tipped by Matt Brock, who played a heck of a football game. You can see Brock coming in from the top of your screen. He'll get his big mid up there and Ball's tipped, and Br Kozak actually takes it right away from the receiver as uh, Daryl Reed is coming over the backside of the receiver, and that's a big turnover here for us, and it's almost now do or die. So with 13.04 left to play in the game, the Ducks get it back. This is a third and 12, a huge play in the game as Musgrave avoids the rush to Archer, and a big first down after a gain of 25. Well, you can see we're a little more patient here. We come with the play action fake, but Stanford's not fooled. Hinkley's upfield. Musgrave stops, shuffles up in the pocket, finds Archer opening behind the linebackers and throws a nice pass. Sam wants to make sure he's got this one for the first down. He catches it, and he's tackled. But this is a big key first down in third and 12. It's now first and 10 at the Stanford 18-yard line. Derek Lavelle shuffles his way in there for about five. Good hard running, good hole at the point of attack. Take you down low. Things get a little tough in that, <laughs> in that line of scrimmage going up the middle. Good run by Derek, always falling forward, uh, having a great year. And another critical third down conversion. We talked about the lack of success on third down, but in this drive, you were successful on two third down plays. That's a big play. We had uh, had a delay of game penalty, or excuse me, an illegal motion penalty. And here's the second uh, play from the four yard line and Latin takes it in, powers it over for the touchdown. I'll take a look at it down low. Little counter play to the fullback, and he makes a surge right there, gets the ball. You can see the ball's clearly over the end, end, uh, end zone plane, and we get the touchdown that we so desperately needed after that turnover. And the extra point becomes critical also because it gives you a four-point lead, which means Stanford much, must have either two scores or a touchdown to take the lead. Good job by Kirk Dennis after missing two field goals. His, I'm sure his games the last two years against Stanford, he'd like to forget. Mm -hmm. Good pressure here, but uh, real fine athletic play by Brian Johnson before we get to him. And Kearns, after missing him once, gets off the deck and comes back and makes the tackle. Third down and four. And a big play for Stanford. Johnson to green for 34 yards. And uh, almost looked like deja vu a year ago when you led late in the ball game and Stanford came back on its final possession of the ball game to pull it out. It uh, looked a little bit like it, Todd, but uh, the defense came up with a big play here. Again, Stanford's going to throw a little audible pass, goes through the receiver's hands, and Brett Young's there, and boy, that doesn't look like an ex-running back, does it? Going down with a shoestring tackle by a quarterback. That's why he's an ex-running back. <laughs> <laughs> You can see, goes right through the receiver's hands. Brett Young alertly gets it. He's got the, 
sideline to go here and just gets tripped up. I guess it was a little more than a shoestring tackle. Not a bad tackle by a quarterback. You would know all about that, wouldn't you, as an ex-QB? Yeah. <laughs> here now we need to get a first down uh, to run the clock out, and Stanford's defense doesn't allow us to do that. Uh, they do a good job here. This is second down play. Derek Lavelle takes it up the middle, and we have a third and two situation now. We're going to run the sprint to the top of the screen. Musgrave gets hit right there. That's where he hurt his ankle. He's short of the first down. He had to leave the game and uh, had a cast put on that ankle after, after the game. Brian Johnson back to throw here and almost intercepted by Daryl Reed. So it's second down and 10, 101 to play. Ball tipped in there. I believe that was by Devin Fitzpatrick. Good job uh, by Devin on the pass rush. You can see him number 99 there. You'll see his hand go up just as uh, the quarterback releases the ball right there, bang, and the uh, ball's tipped up in the air. Kozak makes sure the receiver isn't going to get it because you, you can molest those receivers a little bit on a tip ball, so he just shoved him to the ground. Molesting receivers, I like the term. <laughs> this is third and ten. Johnson rolls out, and whoops, slips, falls. And Fitzpatrick there to make sure, loss of ten. So now Stanford has to go for it. There's only 24 seconds remaining, fourth and 20. Rather anxious moment here. Going deep, ball's tipped. Uh, Daryl Reed is beaten by a step again on that, but uh, he did get a hand on the ball, and the ball fell harmlessly to the ground. Indeed it did, and the Ducks come out with a hard-earned defensive 7-3 triumph over the Stanford Cardinal to improve their overall slate to 3-0, 2-0 in the conference. Let's yeah, see. defense did a great job today. I mean, both, both sides of the ball. Stanford, you have to give Stanford credit. They played a good game, too, but uh, our defense kept us in the game, and then finally the offense put one through. Okay, coming up next, after two very emotional conference games, you go back out of the conference against San Diego State. You know, in, in looking at what we have to do, we need desperately to, to win this football game. Uh, we need to go into the USC game 4-0. Uh, we don't want to lose some of the momentum we have going right now, and, and we're going to get tested, uh, obviously, with, uh, with Musgrave's injury at the quarterback position, and, and our whole team's got to rally around Pete Nelson and Bob Brothers and, and get things moving. So for the coach, I'm Todd McKim. Thank you very much for joining us, and good afternoon.